Hello and welcome to the CSE Capstone class for the fall of uh, 2024. My name is Jose Vidal and I will be the instructor uh, in this class. And uh, so in this video, what I want to do is just, you know, first quickly go over all the things that you need to do right away you know, in the first week of classes. And then I'm going to go over just the whole semester, what we're going to do uh, this semester. Uh, first thing you need to know is uh, everything in for this class is going to be posted on this website, capstone.cse.sc.edu. Uh, it's already posted, so everything that you need to do for this semester is already there, and the deadlines. So read all of it, start planning ahead. You know there are no, uh, there's no late work accepted, right? So you plan ahead. It's part of being a software developer, uh, so you can get things done by the deadline. When the deadline comes, whatever you have, that's what we're going to grade. Um, so check them out. It's already there. All the milestones are there. This is the website, you know, little menu here and the home screen. You'll see the syllabus here. We'll go over that in a little bit. You should definitely read it. And I also have this little deadlines page where I put all the deadlines in one page, you know, keep them organized so you can see everything right there. Start planning. Um, so, uh, we have here. The milestones, these are basically homeworks. GitHub calls them milestones, so I went with that. And they're all here already with their deadlines this semester. Uh, we're only going to do for this semester is all the way up to the, the proof of concept demo. Uh, so read them now, all of them. Just you know, skim them over so you, you can know what's coming. Uh, but yeah, only up to here. Then this is 492 later on next semester. Uh, we have some lectures associated with the milestones. You'll get that. And then the student videos, you can see the video demos from last year uh, and previous years. So maybe you can get some inspiration about what you want to build. Uh, so back to home here. That's the website here. I uh, scroll down here. The video is going to be up there. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is watch the video, which we're doing now. So good. Then uh, you need to tell me your GitHub username because everything we do is on GitHub. The first thing I need to do is add you to our SC Capstone org in GitHub, which is private. Uh, so I need to add you. I need your GitHub username. So just click there. This is uh, you have to log in using your USC credentials. Uh, you know, just click there, log in, and enter your GitHub username. Do that right now. And uh, once you do that, then you know, a couple of times a day, I'll be adding people to. Uh, our org. So what's going to happen is you get an email from GitHub saying, do you want to join this org? You click yes. And then once you do that, you should be able to click here or here. They're both the same thing. This is our discussion page. So if you're, if you're not part of the org, this will be a 404. Uh, but once you get in, you'll be able to see this. It's a discussion. So uh, the way this works in, in GitHub is a little weird. So SC Capstone, this is our org. Or organization, you know, it's like a company. Uh, it has a bunch of repos, and then uh, one of them I created, you know, I created one for each semester is the 490 Fall 2024 repo. It has nothing in it, you know, in terms of code, but it just has this discussions page, which is our class discussion. So that's our class discussion. The first thing we want to do is go over here, code, and then uh, watch this repo. So uh, let's say I'm, I'm not watching it. It's ignore. So I am ignoring this repo. That's not what you want to do. You want to be watching for all activity, or you know, you can customize it as, as you learn to use GitHub uh, to your liking. But uh, so this means that GitHub is going to give you notifications when something happens in this repo. Uh, definitely for your own team repo, you should be watching all activity. Uh, and then notifications again is not like an English word. You, you can go under settings and modify what notifications GitHub sends you. So whether you want them in an email or just in here, this is the uh, sort of, you know, they're built in notifications. It's like an email system. Um, so however you want to do it, do it. But the main thing is you are responsible for keeping up with the announcements. So I will post things here uh, as announcements that you really need to know, maybe. Uh, as we go in the semester. Uh, also, and you can post things and you will be probably posting things here as you form a team. Um, so that's the second part. You know, go to this discussion, make sure you watch it. 
Uh, and then we have to form teams. So as you know, in the capstone class, what we do is we build apps. So we're going to break up into teams of four or five students, no more, no less. And this is all described here and build apps. So the first thing we need to do is form these teams. So you go ahead and find those four or five people uh, that you want to work with. Uh, this is where the discussion comes in handy. So uh, we have a team formation category, so you can you know post a new discussion under the team formation, saying, "Oh, you know, I have you know we have two people. We're interested in doing this thing. We need another three uh, or two or three people." And yeah, just post it, and other people will be able to see it in the class, and then they can reply and stuff. Note that you know, GitHub doesn't have any sort of direct messaging, so I give you one people to reply to you. Uh, you know, secretly, you have to like put your USC email address or something else. Uh, otherwise, people can just post here and everybody can see it, uh, which is good. So uh, you can use that uh, to post and find team members or you can post, you know, I'm looking for a team or whatever. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. You can form teams that way. Uh, or maybe you, you don't want to go through all that hassle. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. So you can just do nothing. Uh, what's going to happen is, uh, going back to the deadlines here. So these are due in the September 1st. So that's Sunday. Pretty much every, all the milestones are due Sunday. So we start grading Mondays. So if you do nothing, so this is the deadline. By then, so what's going to happen is, uh, if you don't submit it, then on Monday morning, I'm just going to go through, find all the people who didn't, you know, submit anything or not part of any of the teams, and just randomly make teams out of them. So I'm just going to take everybody, and then usually there's a bunch, uh, about two thirds, or I mean a third. Um, so yeah, you can just do nothing, and then you will get assigned to a team, or you can create your own team, however you want to do it. Uh, but if you create a new team, note that it has to be done by, you have to submit this form by that date. Uh, as I get the teams, I will post them in the discussion so everybody can see, you know, the teams are forming and who is already, you know, taken. Uh, yeah, the do know that, you know, one tip is a uh, thing that happens every semester is uh, you have uh, somebody forms a team of four and then last minute one of the people decides to drop out of the team of four. And so now you have three people. And of course, yeah. If you have three people, you're going to go back to the group of, uh, I'm just going to assign you to everybody. So, uh, yeah, if you form a team of five people, then if one of them drops out, you're down to four. And so that's still good. So if you want to be safe, maybe form a team of five people. That's a little tip. Um, so back to the home page, I think. Uh, we're done here. So that's the team information. That's done and now. So these are these are all the things you need to do. You know, September first is when this is due. Or if you you don't have to do this one, you can just I got assign you a team and it will be posted on the discussion probably on Monday or Tuesday at the latest. Uh, then read the rest of the four ninety syllabus. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm just gonna go over the syllabus and maybe the milestones uh, a little bit. So what we're gonna do this semester. Uh, this is the syllabus. Please make sure you read all of it. Uh, learning outcomes, instructor, that's me. So the way to contact me and all the TAs is through GitHub, right? So number one, we want to do everything on GitHub. Everything that you do will be on GitHub. If it's not on your GitHub repo, we're not going to grade it. I mean, it's like it didn't happen. So make sure everything is on GitHub. Uh, and also, we're going to try to communicate as much as possible via GitHub. So you just, you know, create an issue, assign it to me as my GitHub username, and uh, yeah, I'll answer it because I know how to use GitHub. I'll get a notification uh, because you assigned it to me, and I'll reply. Uh, if you uh, if you need to contact me privately, so this is also good because you know when you post something there, your teammates can see it. You're going to be posting on your repo, which is private, but uh, your teammates can see it, and maybe other people later on will be able to see it. So keep that in mind. Uh, but uh, yeah, anything technical and stuff, it should be there so your teammates can see it, see what's happening. You know, it's like, oh yeah, I know what he's, did, what you need over there. Uh, any private 
stuff, you can just email me, vidal at sc.edu, and I will reply quickly. Uh, we also have, I'm going to also have office hours, uh, like your physical office hours in my office at, at Story. So you can drop by, uh, or do we can do a, a video call, of course, using, we're going to use the USC, you know, the, the college's Microsoft stuff. Uh, so Teams video call. So yeah, you can just, uh, again, set up a GitHub issue and contact me to set up a time. We can do pretty much any time, you know, during working hours for that or during office hours, it's fine too, whatever. Uh, so, but yeah, check out the office hours if you want to drop by. Uh, yeah, there'll be um, over here. I don't think it's not there. Yeah, uh, this is not working yet. Um, I mean, there's no hours there, but there will be hours added there so you can reserve a time uh, when you want to, you know, drop by. So if you want to drop by, you probably click there and uh, it'll show you, you know, when you want to come by. And so I know you're going to be there and you know I'm going to be there. Uh, these are TAs. Uh, they might change. I'm not sure at this point. This might be different by the time you look at it. So uh, communication, like I said, everything via GitHub. I already mentioned that. Um, so do, 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 do. there's no textbook. Uh, there is a capstone lab. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but in the story building room 1210, so in the first floor, uh, you use your USC ID. Uh, if you're registered for the class, should work. And I'll open that door and you can see little photos of it. It's, you know, like, a, I mean, 13 Mac minis, eight Windows PCs, another eight Linux machines. Uh, so it's a good place, really good place for meeting your team and doing some work. Or, you know, if you just, uh, uh, need a computer, especially Macs. People don't have Macs sometimes. You can drop by and use one of the Macs if you're doing some Xcode or something. Uh, this is the team information. I went over that. Uh, grading scale, it's right here. So read that, how much everything is worth. Uh, feedback that we use. Um, the grades are going to be on Blackboard uh, and uh, so not on GitHub. So all the grades are on Blackboard, but the feedback is on GitHub. We're going to use GitHub issues a lot. So we'll be writing stuff there, but the actual grades are never going to be on GitHub because, you know, privacy stuff. Uh, yeah, personal contribution. So part of the grade that's important is here. Uh, personal contribution is worth up to 100% of the grade. So basically, you know, this means that if you didn't do anything, even the team can get an A, like it can be an A level app, but if you didn't do anything, you'll get an F. That's what this basically means. Uh, specifically, you know, I'm going to give everybody a personal contribution grade at the end of the semester, uh, sort of satisfactory, poor, or unacceptable. And then your, your specific grade will be adjusted based on that, right? So if you have an unacceptable uh, personal contribution, you will fail the class. Uh, you must write code. It's very important. This is a software engineering lab. So the writing the code is what um, you know, it's great. It's graded, uh, even though there are other parts, other things that need to get done. So uh, you will get some credit for other stuff, like you know, saying HTML, uh, and then you know, doing you know graphics and stuff like that. Uh, it is, it is, it will. You will get a you know a plus. So you will get points for that. Uh, but you must write code. If you write no code. You will fail. If you write zero lines of code, you will fail the class. So that's important to keep in mind. You have to make significant code contributions. Uh, everything's on GitHub. Uh, and then the firing a team member, this is uh, really a, a good way to get people uh, sort of in, you know, working early on in your team. So if you detect somebody in your team who's doing nothing, maybe they think, maybe they didn't watch this video and think, Oh, I can just do nothing and, uh, you know, I'll pass the class because the team is going to do everything else. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Um, but if you want to make it even more obvious and get them to do work now, uh, you can start the firing process. You can read it here. Basically, you know, you'll tell the team, it's like, hey, you haven't done anything in the last, you know, three weeks. Here's something to do uh, in the next two weeks. If you don't do it, you're just going to fail the class because, you know, that'll be like, five weeks of doing zero work, uh, something like that. 
So just read this, uh, and uh, that's the process that we use. Uh, academic integrity, uh, it's important to know that, you know, in this class, your GitHub account is you, right? So uh, letting somebody else use your GitHub account is the same as letting somebody else take a test for you or do your homework for you, and I will treat it as such. So it's cheating. Uh, so do not do that. Keep your password secret. Your GitHub account is your identity. Do not share it with anybody. Uh, do not commit code for anybody else. Uh, here, here's a little tip. I don't know if people forget that uh, you, you can uh, share your laptop, you know, create a new account for somebody and give them that account. And that is what you should do uh, if you are letting somebody else borrow the, the laptop to do some programming. Uh, not only does it keep your stuff, you know, secret, you know, so they won't be able to snoop around all your files. Uh, but also, you know, the way Git, it, Git is set up, you know, Git is set up uh, for your user in your laptop. So if they're using your account in your laptop, they're you. So don't do that. Uh, so yeah, nothing late. And then, you know, some other stuff and standard things and the schedule and stuff. Uh, so make sure you read the whole syllabus so you are familiar with everything. And now the last thing, just quickly go over the milestones for the semester. So like I said, they're all over here. Uh, when you click over there, each one, you'll see each one has a due date. And then uh, this part here, grading, team, or individual. So over here, this one has a grading of individual. So what that means is that for this milestone, each person gets their own individual grade. Uh, for this milestone, uh, there's one grade, you know, for the whole team. So, uh, notice also there's some of these milestones we have a lectures watch. So it's just, uh, before you do the milestone, you should watch this lecture. So just click over there. There's some videos there. Uh, watch them. Check them out. Uh, and then uh, read the milestones. So the, uh, the first one is... The forming teams milestone is, you know, this is just basically have your first meeting as a team and make some decisions. Uh, also, a lot of the milestones will have uh, the deliverable section, which this is tells you what you actually have to turn in specifically. So again, read those. Uh, initially, you'll notice for a lot of our milestones here, early ones, uh, you're going to be turning in uh, wiki pages in your repo, right? Because you don't have any code yet. So you're just going to be using the GitHub repo and you're going to turn those in as wiki pages. Uh, then later on, uh, you'll start using the actual uh, code uh, part of it, you know, like GitHub the repo. So, and then there's a little grading rubric, rubric uh, that we have for a lot of them. So that's the form teams milestone and the weekly report. This is one. A little bit different because uh, is uh, due every Sunday. Uh, oops, that should be twenty-four. I'll fix that hopefully. Um, so yeah, this is just every week. Uh, you're gonna uh, have a, an issue in your GitHub repo that says weekly report and the date. Uh, I think I uh, yeah I haven't updated this, but hopefully by the time you read watch this, this will have the actual dates for this year uh like 2024 so uh, every sunday or they'll be due every sunday uh, there'll be an issue you create that issue and then you just in that issue uh with the date of you know that it's due you just write a little comment saying what you did that week um so you can read all that this is why we're doing it and stuff oh i'm gonna update this make a note of that uh, and then personas and user stories so you'll notice basically the first all these milestones here are about designing you know so what should the app do what should it look like what does it need so design and requirements that kind of stuff so it's all going to be like that uh, but also at the same time uh, we have the research milestone uh, right there um, uh, at the same time, you need to be also learning your platform. So early on, you need to decide, oh, I'm going to build an Android app. So you need to start learning Android programming and Kotlin and stuff. So you can do uh, the research milestone. So 
some of these milestones, it's not that it's not that you do one and then do the next one and the next one. Like the research milestone, you need to start working on that one like right away, early on, because it's gonna take more than one week, more than a month, really. Uh, so this might take a long time. Other ones are gonna be easy or take less time. So again, make sure you read all of them before, so you have an idea of how long each one is gonna take you. The personas, you know, I can read of it. This is a team one. Uh, it's about, you know, figuring out who's going to use your app. Design, milestone, there's a due date team uh, where you actually start doing the design, you know how the app is going to look like. Again, there's a lecture associated with that. Look at it and uh, do this one. Requirements, what is the app going to do? I'm going to read it and do it. I'm not going to go into too much details, but each one has a deliverables and a due date. Uh, the research milestone, I know this one has a grading of individual and uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, check out the, uh, the deliverables. Uh, they're going to tell you uh, how to turn this one in, which is a little bit different from all the other ones. It's not uh, a wiki page. So read that and do it uh, individually. Like I said, this one's going to take you longer because it's, the idea is to show that you can build an Android app by yourself. Uh, the architecture, now we start looking about how to put the whole system together, write a little document about that. Uh, source control milestone, October 27. At this point, this is where you actually uh, create the common code base. So you actually put, you know, you do the first commit to your shared repo. And like this is the first version of the app, like usually the hello world, uh, you know, but it compiles and runs. And then you, you verify that everybody in the team can download it and run it. Uh, you also create a readme file that shows, you know, how everything is set up and how you're going to deploy it, you know, tells Basically, the idea of a readme file, as you've probably seen, is to tell a new developer that just joined the team how they can build this whole thing and get it installed and running on their laptop. Uh, so that's which is what we're going to be doing probably. So check it out. There's some other things that you need to do uh, and learn about pull requests and uh, merges. Then we have the ELS, uh, ethical learning and security considerations, where you're gonna, you know, write a little bit about, you know, think about those things and write about how your app deals with those issues, if any issues. Uh, and then after that, really after the source control, you start programming the the proof of concept. Proof of concept is what we call, you know, your first release. So you're gonna create this proof of concept app uh, that has to have, as I say here. Um, um, uh, at least 10% of the final functionality, you know, implement, use all the libraries, all the things that you're going to be using. If it's a web app, it has to be deployed. If it's a you know, mobile app, it has to be running on a phone. Just get all that working and get, you know, the core functionality, the, the really core, 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 let's see, the 10% of it, the, like, you know, the login should work, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll talk a little bit about that. And that is what you're going to be the final deliverable for this semester just a proof of concept i got like the heart of the app working but here you know i have an android app and it does like the core thing that we need to do it now we just need to add all the other features uh, and then there's also a demo so this is just a little video where you demonstrate the app and turn that in it's a preparation for the same kind of thing you have to do a final video demo uh next semester in 492 and uh, that's the last two bit of the milestones. Now, if you go back, uh, I will go back to the deadlines here. Know that it's also another thing you have to do is you have to turn in your peer reviews. So you also have to like, this is an online form where you tell me, you know, uh, what work did you do? And then what work did each other person in the team do? And, you know, how do you rate their uh, performance? That is going to be part of the uh, personal contribution grade. Uh, that everybody will get, so it's very important. Um, and that's it. That's all the things that you need to do. So again, uh, initially, because you know you don't have your repo, so you can email me with any questions just for now. But once uh, you create the teams, or I create a team for you, 
And then we'll move on to just using GitHub issues for communication. Thank you. And one thing I forgot is after you have formed your team, uh, you can decide to have a client. Uh, so you can, if you want to work with somebody else, uh, you go over here to our discussions, as I told you. Uh, click here on client proposals, and I have already posted uh, a bunch of them. So if you scroll down here, and uh, you can see this is a bunch of ideas or you know apps that people need. Mostly these are USC faculty from other departments. You know, typically researchers that you know need another app need an app to do you know this or that thing for their research um, so yeah just read over these each one of them also has an email address of the person and uh, if you want to contact them uh, there's also a Capgemini that's a local company and uh, they hire uh, several of our students every year so uh, they have uh, three projects and this is their contact information uh, three projects that they want to work on uh, so check those out also. Um, so there might be more added here. I will add them uh, if any more common. So you just, uh, this is all, you know, up to you if you want to do it. Uh, if your team wants to do it, contact the person uh, directly and then you, know, you schedule a time to meet with them, however you want to do it. Uh, I think uh, it will add a lot to your experience to do this, right? So if you're working with somebody, uh, you're gonna learn a lot more about you know, what it means to actually try to figure out requirements analysis, what does that mean? That means you know, figuring out what they want, uh, which is not easy, you know, it requires conversation, it requires you to tell them, you know, this is, that's impossible, that can't be done, but we can do this instead, and just a lot of back and forth, trying to figure out what's the best way to solve uh, what they actually need solved. Um, so it'll look great on your resume. Uh, but they are not, you know, we, we have more teams, a lot, about twice as many teams, I think, than ideas here. So a lot of you will, you know, have to do just, you know, the usual thing where you do, you know, like a startup project. So you come up with your own idea for a project and you do that. Uh, so check them out. Uh, uh, one thing to note, last thing to note is that uh, you cannot have, you, I cannot have two teams working on the exact same thing. So I'm not gonna allow that. Uh, what is allowed is you can have two or you know, maybe more teams working with the same client. So let's say for example, one, of, one team is building the app uh, using Android Studio and Kotlin, and the other team is building the app using you know, Xcode and Swift. So those are two completely separate code bases, so that would be fine uh, for this class. Uh, but you can't both be, you know, building the app in Android Studio and, you know, both just Android apps because so, you're both building the same thing. Uh, other than that, yeah, this is a, another thing you can do if you want to. And one last thing I just added. Uh, if you want to form a team and, you know, meet people in real life, uh, just drop by Amoka Hall Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. Uh, this is purely optional, but I'm just going to let anybody who shows up, you can get up and say, you know, whatever you want. I have a team. I have an idea. I'm looking for people to join my team. Uh, I'm looking to join a team, whatever. It's just time that some of us can show up there and form teams in real life. 